What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel or if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mary and I have a super fun video for you today. Um, if you are a dog owner, pet owner, you probably take a massive amount of photos of them like I do. Like, And I do get asked a lot uh, how Capitan looks so good and poses so well. And like if you are new to this channel and have no idea who Capitan is, He'll be in this video. Just give me a second. He usually is laying down right here, but it is a beautiful sunny day in California and we've obviously been in quarantine and it has been pouring rain. So it's just been like, we've been cooped up in this house like crazy. So I can't wait to go outside and enjoy the sun. And I thought what a perfect day to show you guys how I get some photos of him because he is so photogenic and um, he does like to take photos, but like I said, I do have a lot of tips and tricks that might help you with your dog. Um, it is also Easter tomorrow, so I thought this would just be perfect to get family-worthy Instagram photo. So I'm going to change out of my pajamas, put my Easter dress on, um, show you guys some tricks, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are all doing well and safe and staying home. Um, happy Easter or whatever it is you celebrate. And uh, let me go change and let's go get Capita and see what he's doing. So I picked out my outfit. Capita has his collar. And like, I want to film, but my neighbors next door decided to have a little Easter party. They're lucky I don't go and yell at them on Capita. So I'm probably gonna have to voice this over because they're raging over there. But anyways, let's go outside and set up our camera. Huh, Captain? Give me a kissy. Give me a kissy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you wanna go outside? Do you want some cookies? Okay, let's go outside. Not sure if I'm gonna wear this hat or not. Very eastery, too much. Let's go. You wanna go outside, Gubby? <laughs> My first trick might be a little bit obvious, but it's just setting up your camera in the position you want it, making sure you have it all to the settings you want it. That way you're not messing around with it when your dog is actually paying attention and you can get a good shot, but instead you're messing with your camera. So I would just say definitely getting the right position first. Location is another important thing. When we are outside, Capitan really wants to play, and especially since we're on the ground, he thinks, oh, let's, let me play with my parents. So this is definitely testing his skills on photo taking and how patient I can get him to be. So if you are just starting out with your dog, I would suggest probably just doing a room with less distractions, trying to keep him calm as possible. That is like the most important thing, is trying to have your energy be calm, observative, be like, okay, once this photo is done, you will get the ball, but you gotta pay attention, you gotta work. It's just kind of like basic training, I guess you would say. sure if you guys can see but I do have a small little treat right above my lens of my camera he was not really paying the most attention that day so I had to whip out the big guns and that was the treat because the ball was just being a little too much so I will place a little treat on top of the lens like you can see me pointing right there and that way he will usually focus and get on point I will be honest, we do have our bad days where he does not want to be in front of the camera at all and that's where I will put the camera away and go back to our basic training and still let him know that I am the pack leader and he still needs to listen to my commands. I will also use keywords like ball, hot dog, cookies, and Melvin to get his attention, to really get him to turn his head and look at me or shut his mouth and just give me those puppy eye looks. Being cooped up for three days in the house because of the rain, I would say he did a pretty good job being calm and mellow, and I did get a shot that I really did like. He 
Capitan is a very like into the camera right now. And that is because I have his favorite thing in the whole wide world. And as you can see, as my hand moves, so will his head. So what I have is his favorite thing and that's a ball. And I have to let him be patient. But with this ball, I can turn his head this way. I can turn his head that way. Or I can go like this and have him like directly at me. So that's how I get him to get that like perfect angle. Also, I'll use keywords like ball and um, hot dogs. Do you like hot doggies? You can kind of see him reacting to that. He's a little bit um, thirsty, so like he won't shut his mouth, but usually he'll shut his mouth. Maybe if I say his brother's name. Melvin? Where's Melvin? Where's Melvin Wilson? That's his brother's name. But usually if I hold this ball, this will be the key. That's a good boy. Now wait. You stay right there. That's a good boy. I'll get you a cookie after. So, <laughs> he's a lot calmer because it's the afternoon and I have his ball right here and some cookies. So he knows that after he takes his photo, he can uh, get his treats. So when I try to get selfies, uh, see like there's a lot of distractions going on. Captain, look at look at the camera. Oh, look at you want some cookies? So I do have his ball literally right in front of us, so that's why he's pretty much focused on the camera right now. Let me fix those ears, baby. That's all that I got for today's video. I hope you guys learned a little trick to get your dog to pose like the rock star like Capitan. I hope you all are doing well and staying positive. Do not forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, comment below, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Why are you so cute? I love you. I love you, Capitan. Look at your ears, you're so cute.